that Supreme Court justices, a handful of them, say this is the, the standard we'll use for evaluating establishment clause cases. I actually took three classes from Professor Courtney Dom um, because she was so great that after my first experience, I decided I had to take everything she offered. It sort of depends on where you sit, if you think it's desirable or not. Taking the class with Courtney Dom, it was fascinating, it was exciting. I mean, she clearly understands the material, but she makes it accessible and interesting and fascinating. They say they're going to look at the purpose of the law. She's my political science advisor, she's my pre-law advisor, she's the CSU pre-law club advisor, and I work closely with her as the president of that. Especially in one day. Exactly. She has a little bit more of a hands-off approach, which I think is actually really constructive. You know, she lets me figure out the issues and kind of grow as a leader. So it's the perfect combination of allowing me the room to be able to grow and become a better leader, and then being there when I need her. Like Michigan? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that she is definitely one of the major reasons why I'm gonna go to law school. And deciding what you want to do, I don't think there's a much larger impact that a teacher can have on you. The Alabama law in question fails her endorsement test. I think there are a lot of things that make Courtney unique as a teacher. Um, the way that she really engages and cares about the success of her students. It's a, I think it's a combination of being an inspiring teacher, but also knowing your subject matter very well and also being accessible. Courtney is someone who is just such a key piece of the academic um, and the extracurricular uh, communities and cultures here at CSU that she really is one of the best teachers on this campus, I really do believe. Courtney is deserving of this award because she puts so much into this institution that it's a little way to give back to her.